In this video, we're going to cover key things that you need to know about something called an epididymal cyst, which is a harmless fluid-filled growth or lump on a man's testicle, which is also known as the testes. These are quite common and don't usually require treatment. And in this video, we're going to cover what they are, symptoms, treatment options, and when you should see your doctor about a lump on the testicle. So the vast majority of testicular lumps and swellings are caused by benign or non-cancerous conditions that may not need treatment, but it's important to know what's normal for you and to always see your doctor if you notice any changes in your testicle or lumps so they can try to identify the cause. So first of all, let's start off the video by covering what is an epididymal cyst. Well, a cyst is just any small bulge that's filled with fluid and cysts can grow almost anywhere in the body. The epididymis is the name of the little tubes just above the testicle, and this picture will show you where the epididymis is. So all this means is that an epididymal cyst is a harmless growth that grows from the tubes just around a man's testicle. So who develops epididymal cysts? Well, men are most likely to develop these cysts during middle age, and children rarely get them before they become teenagers. It's hard to give you an exact percentage of boys or men who've got epididymal cysts, because most people who've got them don't know that they do. So if you have an epididymal cyst, what might you feel? Well, you might feel a soft, slightly squidgy lump at the top or bottom of your testicle, which is normally painless. They don't tend to get infected or affect your ability to pass urine or to ejaculate or pass sperm. So what else could it be? So a lump in the testicle could be lots of different things, and I'll make a video at a later date about some of these specific things in more detail, but it could be inflammation, so some illnesses cause a thickening of the epididymis and surrounding structures, which can feel like an epididymal cyst. It could be a hydrocele. This is caused by a collection of fluid in the scrotum. It could be a varicocele. This is like varicose veins of the small veins next to one of the testicles or both testes. It's usually described like feeling like a wriggling bag of worms. It could also be a lipoma. This is a fatty lump, which can sometimes cause difficulty difficulty because it can be felt separate from the testicle, just like an epididymal cyst. In rare cases, testicular lumps could be a sign of testicular cancer. It's important to remember that there are many other causes of lumps in the testicle other than cancer, and Cancer Research UK estimates that fewer than four in every hundred testicular lumps are cancerous. So people often ask, do you need any tests for an epididymal cyst? Usually they are quite typical in the way that they feel, and the doctor can normally tell it's a cyst by feeling it, but sometimes they might arrange an ultrasound scan, which is a jelly scan of your scrotum. Some people also ask, are there any illnesses associated with epididymal cysts? Now most men with epididymal cysts are quite healthy and they can develop at random. However, there are some quite rare conditions that are associated with epididymal cysts, and these include cystic fibrosis. This is an inherited illness illness where there are cysts in the lungs, pancreas and other areas of the body, as well as polycystic kidney disease. This is again an inherited condition in which cysts develop in the kidneys and again in other parts of the body. It's also important to note that men who have epididymal cysts are not at increased risk of infertility if they are otherwise well and healthy. So now we know what they are and what they can feel like what is the treatment for epididymal cysts? Well, if the cyst is small and causing you no problems, then your doctor might advise you to keep an eye on it and see them again if it gets bigger or more painful. In certain cases, surgical removal might be necessary if they become painful or don't start to shrink. Large or painful cysts can be surgically removed or treated by aspiration. This means drawing out the fluid and injection of a substance to shrink and seal the cyst. Usually epididymal cysts don't cause any problems at all, but very occasionally they can twist around and become very painful. This is something called torsion, and it happens pretty quickly, typically within about half an hour. So if you experience sudden or really severe pain in your testicles, it's really important to contact your doctor immediately and visit your nearest accident and emergency or emergency room because urgent surgery might be required to save your testicle, and this needs to be done within a few hours. Finally, remember Remember that you should see a doctor if you notice any lumps, swelling or changes in your testicles and it's important to regularly check your testicles to know what's normal for you. I've included a link in the description section of this video with a guide of how to check your testicles correctly. If you have noticed a lump then your doctor will ask you about your symptoms and examine your testicles to try and identify the cause of the problem. In some cases you might be referred for other tests such as the ultrasound scan of your scrotum to confirm what the lump is.